it's going to change your life. When you get in the bed, you're going to be like, it's So I honestly at the point that I'm filming this video do not know what I'm gonna call it But it's just basically my favorite things from Amazon for my home aka apartment Some of it is home decor some of it is not I actually am probably gonna end up doing as well a Walmart home decor video like some of my favorite things that I got from Walmart because a lot of stuff in this apartment is from Walmart like a lot of it. It's from Walmart and it's from Amazon. And then a little sprinkle of Target. But now that the rambling is over, I promise that's the last of it, we're gonna get into the items. First up is my most prized possession from Walmart, okay? It is this robe. I love this robe. It is so warm, it's so comfortable. I just love it so much. I wear it all the time. It's like this kind of a waffle material and it's not like super, super long, so that's good. It comes probably like to my knee. It'll keep you warm, but it won't make you hot. You know how some robes, they just, five minutes after you put them on, you like, please get off me, I'm burning up. Like this is just like a steady kind of a like cozy feeling, and I just love it so, so much. Next up is this little wooden knot. I think this will add to any space. Like you could literally put this anywhere and it will just make the space look a little bit more intentional. Like you put a little bit of effort into it, but it's really just like a wooden knot, but it just looks so like, ooh, what's that? Like, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I just think this like is something cute to have like in your space to put it wherever you choose, but I really do feel like it will just elevate any space that you put it into because it just looks so interesting. Okay, so the next thing, you know I'm a cocktail kind of a girl, okay? I loves me a good cocktail. So the next thing is like my second most prized possession and it is this kind of like bar kit cocktail situation like to make drinks. I love this. For one, it's really, really cute and it just makes the bar look like an actual bar because I don't have like an actual bar. I just have like a bar set up. So this helps to legitimize it. I use this for everything. Any kind of drink that I'm making, it don't matter the size. I use it for everything. And I love, also please, you know, the, the, the sun doesn't respect me and it's just going in and out and coming up and down and tucking behind the clouds and then popping back out. So please forgive the lighting situation. Let me actually go get my little small light because it just got really dark out of nowhere. Okay, I'm back. Also too, another thing about this that I like is that it's gold, obviously, as you see, and it's remained gold. Like it has not changed, it has not faded or any of that stuff. And like I said, I use it a lot all the time for everything. Unlike I got some like gold silverware and stuff from off Shein because I just was trying to test the waters. I actually was going to do a whole video on it, but I opted not to, but as soon as I put the, the forks and the spoons in the dishwasher one time, they was back silver. And they said it was stainless steel. Like how is it stainless steel when I was back silver? You know what I'm saying? So like this has made it through the dishwasher several times. I've used this several times and it's still gold. Love that. So it has like the alcohol measuring kind of a thing or just measuring thing in general, like the larger, the smaller, love that. Also has like this mixing spoon. Comes with not one, but two of these little things for you to attach to bottles, whether you wanna like add syrup or if you wanna pour the alcohol from this, like whatever, when I'm like pouring shots or anything, I use this attachment to add it onto the liquor bottle. Obviously we talking about like hard liquor. And then it comes with this, which I'm not 100% sure what all of these things do, but I know this is for opening wine. Okay, I know that part, but I don't know what the little knife right here is for and everything else But I know that's for opening wine. Okay, so next up is this cute little they call it a like it's titled think piece So I don't know like 
it just looked cute to me and it was small and gold and it was gonna fit into the space that I wanted it to go in. I feel like it really helped to like elevate the space and bring a little touch of gold to the space. So I really, really, really love this. I think it's so, so cute. And like I said, anywhere you put it, she's gonna add to it. She's gonna make you seem like you're artistic and into the arts, okay? She's gonna give that for you. But yeah, love this. I think it's so, so cute. Okay, next up is coffee table books. I have so many coffee table books. I could, I will use air quotes, but my hands are full. I have so many coffee table books that are just everywhere around this apartment because I love the way they look. Again, I feel like it just makes it look so much more um, decorative and like um, artsy almost and like interesting. I don't know. Like I just love the way they look. Okay. So coffee table books from Amazon. Let me just break down a couple of them, right? These smaller ones, I feel like can go in like smaller spaces and they are like, um, luxury designers. So they add that kind of like feel and atmosphere to the space you know what i'm saying but they're not as large because the larger books like this they cost much more but i feel like the smaller books you could still get them to have a touch of that luxury designer book in your space but just put them in spaces where they'll fit and they'll they'll look the best but then also i feel like i have a few different softback coffee table books which you probably wouldn't think to put on your coffee table since they are softbacks but to me I really wanted it for the color obviously but then also to the size because the the hardbacks that are this size are much more expensive so what I do is take a softback that is much larger and then layer it with a hardback so it's like, you know, given the same vibe. And like I said, when these are placed on the table, they don't look like softbacks. They look like hardbacks because they are very thick books and they are under a hardback. So you kind of given the illusion that it's a hardback. Okay, so next up is this gold tray. It actually comes in a set of two. And I keep this in the bathroom to put like the a candle in it and just like a little decor item just because I feel like it makes it look just more decorative like the like the, the decor items are simply that like for decoration to like make it look a little bit more decorated and intentional in the space um so i really 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 love these gold trays like i said they come in a set of two and i have both of them in the bathroom on either side one is holding hand towels for when you wash your hands and then the other is holding like decor um but i think they are really great quality trays they have not turned yet like or started to rust or anything and you know how the bathroom is that space is wet almost like all the time so these have held up very 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 well and i just think that they are just like a cute little item to have if you want to put stuff in and you can even put like jewelry in it you can put whatever you want in a gold tray obviously you know that but yeah, I just think that it's a cute little addition to the bathroom. Okay, so the next item, I obviously cannot like bring it here to physically show you, but I will add in like B-roll. It is this like round black mirror that I got from obviously Amazon. It is just so great where I placed it and I feel like for the quality of the mirror, it is a really, really, really good price. Like that mirror is heavy duty. In this apartment, we opted not to have to like hang anything with nails. Like we use all like command strips if we can and like command strip hooks and stuff like that because it's just a pain when you moving out to have to go in and like refill all the holes and all of that stuff. So we just opted not to really do that. But I wanted that mirror so bad and when it came, I, I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting for it to be such like great quality and it is great quality, it's like, very sturdy and heavy so we had to drill a hole in the wall for it to 
be able to like hold the mirror but it is just such a beautiful mirror you could put it anywhere obviously but i love where i have it placed again i feel like it just adds something i do not like for the spaces of rent like that i'm in the living room the kitchen the bedroom whatever to be like too crowded on the walls so i felt like it added something to that little sitting space without like overcrowding it and making it look like it was too much going on in the room um so i just love that mirror so so much and i feel like it was pretty affordable like i said for the quality and i just love it in the space okay so the next thing that i'm going to talk about that i can't physically bring in here to show you uh oh the light went dead <laughs> whoopsie i did a poopsie should have had that charged up but the next thing is that, that i can't bring to show you physically is a pillow top mattress topper oh my gosh now if you anything like me and you don't like memory foam mattress toppers because i don't i'm just not really gonna i'm not gonna be able to do it i don't want a memory foam mattress topper go away from me with this apollo okay so i when i found this pillow top mattress topper i was like oh come through and it's supposed to be made out of bamboo so it is just the most comfortable mattress topper ever now mind you i already have a pillow top mattress so the pillow top mattress on top of the pillow top mattress topper don't play it's crazy like it's so comfortable and it was like i want to say 70 dollars. i want to say i can't remember like how much it cost it but it is so comfortable and soft and plush and you could wash it and dry it with no problem. I've done it several times. I love that mattress topper. Now, in the B-roll that you're seeing, this mattress topper is very old. Like I've had that mattress topper for almost as long as I've had the mattress. So it's very, very old. And we are actually about to get a new mattress. And I'm going to repurchase that same pillow top um, mattress topper to put on the new bed because I'm obsessed with it. And I'll always go back and repurchase it for every mattress that I'll ever purchase in my life moving forward. So if you are a pillow top type of a girl and you don't like um, memory foam, you need this mattress topper. You need it. Just don't even play around. You need that. That is like, it's going to change your life. When you get in the bed, you're going to be like, <sighs> it's just like an immediate sigh of relief that happens. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? You got to have a good pillow too though. You know what I'm saying? Because they go hand in hand. And last on the list of things that I'm going to show you that are not like that I can't physically like pick up and show you is this plant right here. This plant that's always behind me, beside me, you my ride or die. You know what I'm saying? You always here with me, thugging it out, looking pretty and being the best prop that ever lived. You know what I'm saying? And I rock with you for that. This little faux plant is the truth. Okay. I got this from Amazon when my palm plant that I had died because, you know, I guess it just wasn't meant to last a long time. And I needed like some greenery right here because I like the way it looks next to the mirror and a little poof. But also this is where I sit to film certain videos or whatever. And I just like to have greenery in the video shot. This little faux plant, I actually don't know what it's called in terms of like the type of plant this is that this is, but I will have a link below. It is a really great quality faux plant. When people come over here, they ask me like, is that real? And then I'm like, no. So, you know, it's catfishing. Okay, next up, the straws. I'm a straw girl, okay? I really do not play about straws. Like I like to drink out of a straw especially with like cans and stuff like that or just anything glasses i don't want to put my if i have lip gloss on or whatever the case may be i don't want to put my lips on the glass unless i'm drinking like champagne or um wine but like in terms of cocktails like i need a straw i need a straw or even just like apple juice or orange juice whatever i drink that's like juice that's not being drank out of a wine glass I want to use a straw even to tell you the truth this might be ghetto but I have shorter um straws that's like this long that are silver that I still put inside of my like wine glasses if I'm drinking juice out of them um because I do that a lot too um so I will still 
put those straws in there if I'm drinking juice out of those because it's like a smaller straw. Um, but I, I don't even remember where I got them straws from. That's why I didn't add them because I truly cannot remember where I got them silver straws from. I just really love these straws. I feel like especially when you drink it out of a glass um, straw inside of a glass, glass, <laughs> it just looks so like nice i just love the way it looks and if it's ice in a cup i don't even really like super cold drinks but sometimes just for the aesthetic of it all and nobody's around it's just me just for the aesthetic of it all i'll put ice in the cup and then put the drink in and then drink it with the glass straw just because i like the way it looks but i don't necessarily like super cold beverages this was the first ever straw set that i bought from amazon forever ago okay i hope i can even find a link to it because i got these forever ago and they are starting to fade but they not turning silver it's just like a lighter gold kind of a color um but they still are very much so gold straws and they have every right to turn now because it's been forever so i love these so so much and these came with like a little baggie which is like you know yeah, that is pretty much it. All of this stuff will be linked in the description box. Also too, if you do not know already, I have created an Amazon storefront to make it a little bit easier for you to just like basically feel like you're going to like an actual online store. Cause I have like already fitness stuff, um, some travel stuff, some hair and wigs that I like have reviewed that I love that I would recommend. And then, um, some fashion stuff, but I'm still like adding stuff into the fashion. Be sure to check that out as well. I have not created the home decor portion yet as I'm filming this video, but I'm pretty sure I will. Once I create all of the links for this video, it will be easy for me to create that category on the storefront. So just stay tuned for that. But yes, everything will be linked down below. Let me know down in the comments, which piece was your favorite or if you're going to try any of this stuff also let me know if you want to see the walmart home decor video because like i said a lot of this stuff is from walmart including like this mirror and just like this coffee table like it's it's a lot of different stuff in here like bigger furniture pieces that i have that are from walmart so let me know if you want to see that but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed the rest of your week your weekend whatever it may be peace and blessings bye